And our survey said, <sighs> all right, bit much, give me a second. There, that's better. Now there's been a lot of news stories based around survey results in recent weeks. If you've been following the news on autorepairfocus.com, and I'm sure many of you have, you'll have seen various pieces saying X percent of drivers are not changing the winter tires, X amount of garages not upselling oil, or X number of people would drive without an MOT. But why are there so many survey-based stories and should we take them with a pinch of salt, or are they a useful tool? Let's start with why. Currently the UK and the automotive industry are going through a great period of change. For the country, we're emerging from COVID-19, dealing with Brexit, and there's all the political strife. For the automotive industry, as a whole, car sales are down, technology is changing, and the switch to electrification continues. So therefore, companies are looking for ways to stay engaged with their audiences. And a good way to get them engaged is with a survey. These are sent out to hundreds or thousands of customers who have opted in. Just like the free Auto Repair Focus Insight newsletter, sign up today, cheeky plug. While you may only get a small percentage of responses to survey questions, the fact is that your brand is out there in front of people. These companies will get a greater understanding of their customers, understanding how they can help consumers or support their networks. Then there is the PR. Journalists love a headline. Now, should we take these results seriously? Yes and no. Ultimately, it depends on the company. The news that 80% of drivers give winter tires no fault came from Audi to promote their dealership network. The research was conducted independently, but let's face it, drivers of premium cars are perhaps more likely to consider swapping tires seasonally than those who say drive a Dacia. The Halford story that 45% of drivers stated they'd drive without an MOT if they couldn't afford one is perhaps a bit more worrying. No matter what the sample size is, it shows that education is needed on MOT importance and that budgeting for the test is easy, but it's not being recognized. Surveys give a snapshot of faults. Regardless of the response rate, someone is answering those questions and that person or those people are potential customers. Whether it's because they're holding onto cars for longer or struggling to afford a vehicle service, we know this information now. The aftermarket can then react instigating education activities, payment plans, raising awareness. So, to the question of are these types of news stories important? Hang on. Our survey says, yes.